One thing I find interesting is whenever I look at, like, for example, like FaZe Clan's team, loads of those players are from different games on the native to Valorant, right? If I look at some of the other teams, though, Vanity, obviously there's tons of NA players that were around at your level or the level below where you were in CSGO. So I have mm. a question for you, which goes at this, right? Who is the CSGO player who's in Valorant who is, like, surprising you the most by, like, how much better they are at Valorant than they were at CSGO? Because some of these names, like, like Moose and Dazzle were around a million years in NA. They were uh. just on, like, the seventh best team or whatever they're all great you know so who who actually has had like a big step up do you think since coming to valorant jonah p for sure okay he was like um i don't even they would dm the l but they would like get into relegation he's kind of just like i mean i don't know this is just so ba- barely even pro like on this, the semi-pro is, this, level. this is like my outside looking in i've very i've talked to him a few times um but it seems like he was in like a friend group that never really like, I don't think they took the game super seriously. And um, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's something I've talked about before. Uh, it's really cool to see, like, people notice their mistakes in the past and, like, do a 180. And I think that a lot of Valorant players haven't done that, which is kind of depressing to see because it's, like, a second lifeline and not sure. very many people get, get anything like this. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, that, by the way, that's the player for um, the guard in case people were unaware. Yeah, I would even say as well, Vanity, like the one of the number one things I'm amazed by how many people. I can't believe when I've heard all these stories from my ex CSGO friends where they say that the shit talking's almost as bad in NA as it was in CSGO now. Like, dude, that has got to stop, surely. Like, if you're a young player, if you talk shit to better players than you, you just limit yourself getting in teams, mate. They're just not going to pick you up. They're going to hold it against you. Yeah. I mean, I did you it know. in CS. Everyone it makes, does. It's the problem. It, it, it's, t- it's, too, it, it's a moth to a flame, isn't it? That's uh, the problem. It, it, you know? it, just, it just makes it... <laughs> uh, it just makes it like... I tell people not to do it. I still do it, but I'm dumb. But like... <laughs> Like, like these people the that are coming up, man. right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I mean, I think I think it's different though. Like, right? Like when you're not established, like you probably don't want to be burning bridges with people. No, that exactly. Yes. And get you your foot in the door. Yes. Right. Like I've helped a bunch of people. Uh, like B Dog, for example, I told LG like a million times to get them. I was like, Dude, just get this guy. I played with him. He's insane. Uh, and then I mean, I think he's really good. Um, but I think it's pretty important. I mean, obviously, like it is a competitive environment. People, it does go hand in hand with battling people and sure, yeah. There's, there's yeah, a bit yeah. of that, yeah. There's a bit yeah. of that, sure. Uh, people are not going to mesh, but I'd say for the most part, like I feel like a lot of like the trash talk really isn't meaningful. Like it's people okay. just trying to get interactions, which understandable honestly well actually there's one thing i will put tag on then here's a key distinction if you're young because you're right obviously you can also just be fun like i'll give you an example if like fucking fns and then someone who was also at his level and say if they were battling a scream you know it's jokes right but that's also a thing i'll say if you're a young player you might not know the relationships in the scenes you might not know that they're joking but if you join in in a random fucking game they might yeah, yeah, they don't know they you don't are know, mate yeah, yeah. so yeah. they're gonna take that seriously aren't they yeah I absolutely think it's, yeah it's like different if like like me and like FNS like are in a rank game together and we like type to each other like people exactly like people like jump on it it's like yes guys I've, I've known this guy for like four years yes. man like it's, it's, like, not, it's not serious you guys don't need to do this it's and like, it's when like you're, then you're, you're gonna always gonna have a bad taste in their mouth about this person it's, it's like when you're streaming and like people will come into your chat and they'll try and make like joking insults and it's like sure. hold on like bro it's like fo- it's like they me. don't even follow or followed five minutes ago <laughs> No, yeah. it's like, dude, like, dude, if you followed me for like three years, dude, type whatever you want. Within <laughs> reason, obviously. Yeah, but it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If I see you in my chat and I recognize your your name, like, yeah, you have a lot more leniency within what you say because, like, mm-hmm. I know you're not just here to be like a dick. Sure. I think that's the that's the the distinction I was gonna say is like you kind of have to have a rapport with that person. Like, you know, whether you have been rivals, teammates, whatever, known each other for a really long time or whatever it is, like especially if you're a young like new player if you come in and you start like throwing around trash talk because you want to look uh, yeah. like that guy or like join in with the theatrics it it's just doesn't quite sit right it's just it's like sort of like sit down <laughs> you know like earn it you have yes, to earn it absolutely Exactly. All I'm going to say is, like, you know, when I was young, I used to think it was really unreasonable, all those scenes in movies where in American colleges they're all getting hazed and stuff. Then I met actual fucking esports <laughs> players. Like, I was like, these guys need to be bloody hazed. They need some fucking fucked up ritual to make them get in line and actually not be an arsehole. It's like, <laughs> instead, people just gave them a sack of money and said, I, I do, play video I do, games. I do think that, on average, the, like, average Valorant pro that I interact with was a lot more, like welcoming i guess than oh, CS. okay that's cool 
So, okay. I mean, maybe it's because I'm better. Like, we're on a better team. Right. But even, even, be but even when I first switched, though, like, I was really bad. And people were, like, way more, like, welcoming. Like, so I think that... Or, oh, like, what? at, um, like, Masters, for example. Like, Boaster, like, Scream. All these guys. Like, there's really nice guys. And I feel like, in, like they would come up to you and introduce themselves. In CS, that wasn't really a thing. Which, I mean... Doesn't need to be a thing, but it's. Like, I can't it's lie. Cool. If even though, by the way, I've met Scream. He is a really nice guy. He's a cool guy, etc. Cetera, et cetera. But I can't lie. If I was Scream, like you have to remember, Scream was like an enormous name in CS:GO. I oh. would even just do that just to fuck with you, dude. I'd be like, "Sorry, oh, you used to play CS:GO. Oh, that's cool, dude. I didn't know." Like, <laughs> I, I'd, I'd go the other way. I'd try and make a trash up that man, assholes or whatever. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah no, I just think it's. it's <laughs> but you would expect like... him to be like that, wouldn't you? You'd expect him to be like, "Who the fuck are you?" You know, <laughs> sort of. Uh, yeah, it, it just it feels like more welcoming. I mean, I don't know. It's not like it matters. It's just. It's nice to feel like, uh, um, or like the Gambit guys, for example, like Redgar. He actually oh, might be the nicest human Redgar. I've ever met in my He's life. He's so sweet. He gave me a birthday present at Masters He's last so year. He's so nice. And like, yeah. we'd never spoken before and he texted me one day and he was like, hey, do you have a time we can meet up? Because like, I know it's your birthday this week and I'd love to give you a gift. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> him, and, so him and Boaster are like some of the nicest people I've probably okay. met in my life, honestly. Mm. I think that's like the biggest thing. The difference for me, at least. Like, I had a way, few, a few S tier CS events. Um, I, got, I don't know if they're S tier, but IEM Sydney was like the biggest one. And I mean, people are nice, but it's not the same. They're a bit more standoffish if they don't know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. for sure. Yeah. By the way, I'll just say this. I'll link this back to our previous point. See, that works if Geo knows you and you go, hey, I'd love to give you a present. Like, please oh, yeah. meet me. Like, <laughs> don't do that. If you don't know her, don't even bother sending that message. Don't get the wrong message from this episode. That is if, not what she's if welcoming. You, if you are <laughs> first like name bunch of numbers. Years. Of course. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. just, just so people don't get the wrong notion. Though. It's okay. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Thanks. Actually, I have a... Yeah, go on. I was going to say, well, even though I guess there wasn't an audience, but thankfully where we did like meet up at the venue to, you know, he, he gave me this birthday present was somewhere that people wouldn't have been able to access right. without a badge. There you so. go. <laughs> okay. That could have gone badly for sure. Yeah. Like- <laughs>